This conference so, so, will now be recorded. We have Andy Taylor on the on the line with me today. Andy is a, an information management security uh, expert. He's uh, written a book. He edits uh, a number of other books as well, and he's here today to talk about the CSIMP qualification. Uh, I'm Bernard Nelson. Been around a long time. Some of you know me. Some of you don't. Uh, welcome if you do know us, and, and welcome if you don't. But really, you don't want to listen to me. It's Andy you've come to talk to. So, Andy, I'll hand over to you, if I may, please. Thanks so much indeed, Bernard, and uh, and welcome to all those who've uh, tuned in. Um, I thought I'd start off with what's the purpose of this uh, certification. Uh, I've been involved with it since the uh, early 2000s and taken it through a number of iterations. And but it's always been very, very clear that it was all about the principles, as the name is quite rightly given to it. It's about the principles of management security. And in particular, it's about information, not specifically about computers. So this is very much about how you look after information, regardless of where that information is, be it on a computer system or uh, on a, uh, uh, um, a fake paper-based system, or indeed in people's heads. The, the principles of security are the same throughout. And that's what this course is about. And because of that, this course is really aimed at a whole variety of different people. Not surprisingly, anybody who wants to go into information security uh, or computer security or perhaps into uh, things such as software development or, or hardware or even perhaps things like pen testing, auditing. There's a whole range of different areas within uh, security now uh, and any one of those will benefit from having this as a, a very firm grounding and basis on which to build their, their later careers. It also, though, provides a very good general background to anybody who has concerns or interests in security. And I would argue that actually that ought to be everybody. We all need to worry about security, particularly cyber security nowadays, uh, with the increasing number of uh, frauds and, and fraudulent uh, um, activities that are going on through criminal work and, and else, elsewhere. This tries to help people to understand why those come about and how to protect themselves from it. So it's aimed at the general population as well, which is a big claim, but that, that, I think that's where it should be. But because of that general aim as well, it also very neatly fits into a group of people who perhaps don't think of themselves as anything to do with security. So people like, for example, people in finance departments, HR departments, um, they're all part of what this is about. And this provides a very firm background, a very firm basis on which they can uh, build their security information knowledge. It's really all about information. That's what the title is, and that's exactly what it's all about. And so it is about looking after information, regardless of where that information is. And so the sorts of roles, uh, as I've listed some already, could include security consultants, could include cybersecurity people, that being they uh, managers or project managers or technicians or developers or architects, any of them all need to understand the basis of looking after information securely. And those are the people that this course is very much uh, aimed at as the base starting point uh, for their careers and their progressions through their security knowledge and, and development. They also, uh, it also covers things like business continuity, disaster recovery. Now that's becoming a, a specialism in its own right nowadays, uh, probably always has been really, but it's becoming more importantly so. And again, this forms a very, found, a very firm back foundation for those people going into those sorts of areas as well. So the sorts of people interested could be people with some knowledge, with no knowledge, uh, with general knowledge, with very specific knowledge. We don't really care. Uh, it provides something for all of them. So it acts as a starting point, as I've said, for those who want to go into information security, but also into the much wider uh, areas of those who want to go into something perhaps not specifically within security, but which uh, needs to have security, a security aspect on it. Um, and it's those people uh, who perhaps th this is really more, more uh, clearly aimed at in some ways, because it's really a course that's designed to help them to understand the basics of security, which apply to their particular area. So as I've mentioned, marketing and uh, finance, legal, the legal side of life, 
Uh, they need to worry about information security, particularly about security of personal information. Uh, and so it goes on. And this course provides you with that very firm foundation, allowing you to, to build an understanding and then to build security into the way in which you do things. And I say the way in which you do things because it's not just about computer security. Yes, absolutely, computers play a huge part and computer security is very important and it is a very fundamental part of the course. However, it's also about a much bigger picture of actually good processes because sometimes it's the processes behind uh, a business activity which actually are at fault, uh, nothing to do with security of a computer system. And this, this course, this uh, certification helps to understand where those areas come from uh, how they can work together. And as I've already mentioned, those who just want to be better, just want to understand security. We've all got our mobile phones, our laptops, our desktops, our tablets, whatever they might be. And we need to understand how security works on those things, not the technicalities of it. And this isn't a technical course, and I'll come back to that in a moment. But this is about just understanding how the different uh, parts of a security system operate and how you can sometimes get uh, conflicts between them, which causes problems and, and sometimes issues that, that need to be dealt with. So it's just about everybody using security on a day-to-day -day basis. And as part of that, I would suggest to you that perhaps even uh, companies who, who might be interested in taking this on uh, might be interested in using this as part of their training program. And so we also look at the employer and, and the employer's uh, value that's gained from undertaking this course. Naturally, all employers have to try and get information security into the culture of the organization. It's been shown many, many times over that uh, if you've got a good culture uh, of security in your organization, you are much less likely to suffer breaches, to suffer the, the damaging effects of, of attacks and, and hacks and so on. This course allows you to give everybody a basic understanding of security and helps them to uh, uh, appreciate how they can make their organization safer and, and protected from, from attacks. It also helps to look to uh, bridge the skills gap. There's a shortage of security people. Uh, if you read any report and the NCSC, the National Cyber Security Center, uh, produced a report not long ago that said that there was going to be some phenomenal gap in the skills workplace for those who are working in security and cyber security in particular, <clears throat> leading to the um, perhaps an advised adverts that came out a little while ago. But this course helps to bridge that gap by taking people from uh, other backgrounds, other areas in the organization and giving them some security knowledge, which might actually mean that they become more interested in security and in fact want to go into that area. But that's not a requirement. It's just a case of that might happen but it does also help to expand your skills in security. You're not relying on the three or four people in your security department. You can ask everybody to help, everybody to contribute, everybody to look for issues and problems and possible breaches and, 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 and so it goes on. So it helps with that skills gap. Clearly, if you've got employees who want to develop, then this is part of that. And again, it might be going into security for the first time, or it might be adding security to, a, to a, their portfolio of skills and knowledge. Uh, and that helps to develop them. And we all know that, that helps to retain people. Or it might just be that you want to know, so what's the world going to be like tomorrow? Now, if we had a crystal ball, that would be really good. and We don't. Uh, however, we can, we can be pretty sure that the cybersecurity world uh, is changing very rapidly. Um, and the course talks about some of the ways in which those changes are happening so you can begin to be prepared for it. We need to anticipate the changes in the security world, not react to them. Reacting to them is usually too late. Responding to them after the event is never going to be a very successful policy. We need to be able to guess what's going to come down the track and begin to predict and, and anticipate that in order to be able to take make changes to our networks, to our systems, to our uh, processes uh, to protect ourselves from them. So what's in it? Well, a number of different things. And again, I've split this into for the person taking the course and for the employer as being two areas which are slightly separate, but indeed are linked to one another. 
So the candidate, it teaches risk assessment, it teaches security standards, it talks about legislation, it talks about business continuity, it talks more generally about how to protect the organisation. It also enables them to go into other certifications, uh, perhaps BCS certificate, certificates or indeed other things. Uh, BCS offers things like uh, data protection and blockchain, for example, and this facilitates your knowledge so you can go into those areas with a, with a good basis, a good grounding to, to, uh, to get you on the, uh, the right track. But it is a, a broad-based introduction to security. It is not specific to any one technology. We don't talk about uh, Apple machines or Windows machines, we talk about PCs. It's not one particular operating system, so it's not um, any particular company or any corporation particularly. Uh, it's a broad-based general principles course, and so it gives you that understanding of the whole uh, area of computer security and also general security in order to allow you to to build your knowledge through other areas, through other knowledge uh, uh, development processes. We assume no knowledge at the beginning. We expect everybody to come with a blank sheet. Of course, if you've got some knowledge, then that's a huge advantage uh, and you'll get even more out of it. But you don't need to know anything about security at the beginning. It is very much a foundation course intended as that and allows you to have that foundation on which you can build. It might offer you the opportunity to consider whether actually some other part of uh, security might be something for you. Uh, you can look at in, in some detail at perhaps things like encryption, for example, and say, so is that something I fancy going into? Uh, and the course gives you a, a, enough of an intro into it to say, well, actually, yeah, that, that sounds interesting. Or, oh, no, I don't want to go anywhere near that. I, I might try business continuity or I might try something else, software development or something entirely different. So it gives you a chance to have a look around at some of the other careers, some of the other options that might be available to you, not just within security, but elsewhere as well. And it's not a technical exam. Uh, it's very much a, a, a principles exam. It's based on the principles uh, that, it, that it teaches. Uh, it does talk about some examples, which may, may be a little bit technical in some ways, but nothing that requires deep technical knowledge or anything like that in order to be able to uh, answer the questions correctly. The, the exam is a, is a multi-choice exam uh, and it's, uh, it's a very straightforward, uh, simple exam, not, not that it's easy to pass necessarily, but simple insofar as it, it reflects the, the way the course is put together uh, and the way the, uh, the syllabus has been written so that it's easy to, uh, to understand how to get good marks in the exam. On the other side for the employer, well, as I've already mentioned some of this, it, it's a very well-rounded approach to, to the information security management principles. It, it looks at the whole uh, ethos, if you like, of, of security and tries to put some, some uh, uh, ideas and, and, and building uh, blocks in the place to, to help to build that, that general approach. It gives a full appreciation of security. And, and that in itself will help this security culture. It helps people to understand security. It helps people to appreciate what's, what's important and what's less important. It allows people to make better decisions because they understand what's risky and what isn't risky. Uh, and therefore helps them to be able to protect your, your organization uh, as, as you go forward and as you operate, even if security isn't part of their business. And that's perhaps one of the most important things. It facilitates the employees an overview of cybersecurity so that the organization can be better prepared for the changes that are happening in the cybersecurity world. The cybersecurity world doesn't sit still. Uh, the one thing that's absolutely guaranteed in cybersecurity is that it's changing ever more rapidly. And you need to understand that. Sitting back and saying, well, yesterday it was fine, uh, doesn't mean that tomorrow it's going to be good. And this is one of the problems in security. There are a number of situations where we, we take snapshots of security and think that's OK. I, I would suggest that pen testing, for example, uh, is a case in point. We, we do a pen test on a system. We say, oh, great, that's fine. Uh, that'll mean it's all nice and secure. Well, it is today, but tomorrow when somebody changes the, uh, a, a component in that system or when a, an attacker starts using a different sort of attack or when something else happens, then that pen, uh, picture that you took of your security today is no longer valid and we need to move on to tomorrow's uh, picture 
but you can't keep doing pen testing every five minutes. It's just not practical. So you need to understand what it is that's coming down the track so you can have a better uh, appreciation and better preparedness for, for your security uh, tomorrow and beyond. It provides a good base of security, as I've said. Uh, it, it means that to, uh, your employees will learn about a whole range of different things to help them to protect the organization, to identify uh, external threats, internal threats, attacks, breaches, whatever it might be. Uh, maybe you use uh, uh, phishing campaigns to try and persuade people not to click on the links in emails, for example. But unless people understand why that uh, is important, they, they don't learn it. They, they do it because they have to, but they don't learn why. And what this course does is teaches you why it's important not to click on those links, why it's important to understand what a phishing email looks like or any of the other types of emails that, that will appear in your email box. It helps them to identify threats, helps them to un, uh, understand where potential risks might be, um, and it helps them to uh, deal with those in, in one way or another. In other words, to be able to prepare for them, to defend themselves and indeed the organization uh, in order to, to keep that organization secure. And as I've mentioned again already, it helps to build a more flexible workforce. You have a, a workforce which has specialists who are security people, but also generalists who understand security and allows them to contribute to the development of the security culture within the organization and to help them to, to uh, defend you to some degree. Because at the end of the day, uh, people have often said that people are the weakest link in security. I don't subscribe to that view. I think they're their strongest link, but they have to know about it in order to be able to uh, um, contribute to that sort of uh, attitude. I think that's uh, coming towards the end now, and so I'll pass you back to you and uh, leave you to carry on. Bernard, are you there? Hi there. Yeah, um, apologies, I am here. Yes, thanks, Paula, for getting in. Um, worried. Let me just share my screen with you. Andy, thanks very much indeed for that. It's clearly a lot of information that's on offer there. Um, if anybody has any information for Andy or any questions about Andy, please ask now, either on the chat or either on the uh, out loud. See what we can do to help. Yep. Okay, so thanks very much for attending everybody. Once once we finish, this presentation will be sent out with Paula. Uh, thanks very much for coming, everybody. Andy, thank you particularly for your time. Um, and everyone have a have a wonderful day. It's been good to see you. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Yeah.